Attracted to who? You understand what I'm saying? If you if you a man and you know what you're doing and you are you a nigga with game, attraction starts with you. You understand what I'm saying? Attraction starts with you. So fuck what these bitches is thinking. Like it's of no consequence. You understand? Because as we know, they their fucking emotions change with, like the wind. So why do I give a fuck what they're thinking in the first place? Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to another edition of the Red Pill Chauvinist Show. I'm your braggadocious, your very humble host, the Red Pill Chauvinist. Just say shout out to Mr. Lucario, man. Y'all definitely go check his product out. Stripper in particular says I'm God to these hoes, man. <laughs> it was only appropriate that I that I bought this shirt, especially in red. But um, shout out to Mr. Lucario again for even giving me the opportunity to uh, review his, his his documentary. It was a long-awaited documentary. But one thing I will say for sure, it was well worth it. I don't even know where to begin, man. But let me start off by saying, if, if, for those who don't want to see the whole video, who don't want to see, who don't want to watch the whole review, in summary, Game King, the definition of game was fuego. Fire. Go go get it. Go, go, go to uh, badboymembership.com, man. And make sure y'all y'all join the membership and uh get access to that to that video. So when it comes to game kings, definition of game. First, let's know the players in this game on this documentary. First off, top we got Mr. Lucario. I mean, smooth cat from from New York that does his thizzle. You know what I mean? Cause I feel like if you could do your thing in New York when it comes to to chicks or just game in general then you can expand that to anywhere in the world. So, shout out to Mr. Lucario. Next on the list is Miles Cunningham, man. Miles is Lucario's right-hand man. And I can see why, because it's like, it's like the Lucario got the, he's like, he has a finesse way of, of giving you the game, whereas Miles, you know, is a little bit more rough, rugged, and raw. You know what I mean? All the, all the, pe all the speakers in this documentary are not the same age. All these speakers in this documentary are not from the same place. You know what I mean? But what I noticed is that the game that all of them were spitting, if you're a dude who already knows game, you can see that they were kind of saying the same things in different ways, which I liked, you know, because somebody might be more receptive to a finesse type of way of receiving information. With somebody like myself, you know, I could take the rough, riggedy, raw version. I mean, I could just absorb it like that. So we got Miles Cunningham, then we got the, the Smooth Cat, Eddie Fuse. You know what I mean? And I think the, the, the first three people I just named were probably the youngest, the youngest people. Yeah, they're probably the youngest people as, as far as all the speakers. Now, as far as the OGs are concerned that were on there, you know, we got we got the big unk, Ron Wills. If you don't know Ron Wills, make sure you type his name on YouTube, find out who he is. Ron Wills was on there. Uh, 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 there was a player by the name of the Boss Mac, Top Soil. That dude was, yo, I'm gonna get into him, man. That dude was dropping, I mean, all of them were dropping gems, but they were all dropping gems in their own way. You know what I'm saying? Some resonated more with me than others. And again, that's what I liked about the, the documentary. Everybody isn't speaking the same. Everybody isn't necessarily saying the same thing, but the underlying message Seems to be the same. Uh, Rosebud, I mean, Rosebud, bitter dose. Rosebud, hold on, I gotta sit down for this. Hold on. Rose, Rosebud seemed like, to me, seemed like the OG, OG of the of the documentary. Man, like the poise he was talking with. It, it's, I felt like he wasn't even a big unk. That was like, you know, what I mean, that was the OG, OG, the the, the wise elder. 
that that you need to sit down and just a dude like uh, 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 Rosebud, he the type of dude when he speak and the way he speak and the type of gems he's dropping, you just sit and listen. There ain't even no time for no Q and A. You just absorb and any any gem he drop, you just pick up. You know what I'm saying? We also had Mr. King, a riggedy raw, straight in your face. You know what I mean? With the information. That is Mr. Steve the Dean Williams, man. Steve the Dean Williams. So just to run down who we got on the joint. We got Mr. Lucario. We got Miles Cunningham. We got Eddie Fuse. We got the Boss Mac Top Soil. We got Ron Wills. We got Rosebud Bitter Dose. We got uh, 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 Steve the Dean Williams, man. It's like it's like they, they cornered the market with, 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 with the, the way you can receive this information. Let's go a little bit into what they were talking about. Now, like I said, they have different perspectives on what they're doing. I mean, as far as like what they're saying. And the different topics that they spoke on, the one in particular that, that stuck out was game. Straight like that. They don't they don't they don't mess around on top they really let you know what the definition of game is. And they don't take one or two minutes to tell you the definition. Actually break each one of them breaks that sh breaks it down from their perspective. And if you're if you're an intelligent intellectual man or young male, you'll be able to put all that information together. Yes. That's the game right there. And you'll pretty much realize like everybody pretty much touched on this right here. You know what I mean? So besides giving you the definition of game, another thing that they like that I like that they spoke about was what is manhood? Manhood is something that needs to be spoken about more in this community because we don't have men, if not fathers, in the house raising these boys, raising these little girls. So that means they basically mean that there's no order in the house, you know? And they break down what, what manhood is. And again, when they break these topics down, they all have their own definition and perspective. Manhood, they talked about mouthpiece, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people out there talk about, you know, it's all about looks, money, and status. Cool. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that looks, money, and status has absolutely nothing to do with attraction or the game. But looks, money, and status, if anything, I feel like it should be for you. You should look good for you. You should make money for you, for you to have access, for you to do the things that you want to do. You know what I mean? Status. Again, status opens up, you know access into other things, other other avenues, other doors, other rooms in life. And they all break that stuff down to mouthpiece. Then they then they segue into confidence. What is confidence? I mean, it shouldn't be based on external validation. I mean they break all the stuff. Bitter dose, uh 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 boss mac top soil, Eddie Fuse, Ron Wills. Like I'm not a, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know tell you what these dudes were saying, but the stuff that they they were they, the way they were saying and what they were saying. It was a point of documentary. I had to stand up and start clapping like yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So you dudes need to cop this documentary, man. It'll change your life, especially for you dudes who ain't grow up with your, you know no father figure or anything like that. Well, I wrote some things down. What I say. I said, I, I like the way they break down each topic from each speaker from a different perspective. I said, the fact that the speakers are of different age ranges and are from different areas of the United States shows that the game is obviously the same no matter where you are, no matter what age you are at. I like how they gave the, 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 the speakers or asked the speakers open-ended questions, allowing the speakers to interpret the question however they feel and therefore answering the question from a unique perspective. And the last thing I wrote with fire signs is Rosebud was spitting fire, heavy game. You know what I'm saying? Talked about, you know, you need to have an arsenal. But y'all gotta, gotta check out the uh, documentary to, to know what he, what he means by that. Game King to definition of game. Yo, aside from the speakers and all that, let me, uh, being a content creator, let me also compliment uh, Miles and Lucario on their editing skills. You know what I mean? The way to put everything together, the cutscenes, the music, 
the B rolls. Yeah, I know about B rolls. The B rolls, all that, man. Everything's on point. It was, it was, it was a well put, a well put together production. I have nothing bad to say about it. Great speakers, great information. Cause usually I'd be like, yo, uh, uh, after mess, uh, after messenger, scoop the message. But in this documentary, you can, you can take something from the messenger and the message, which is a combo that's that's worth that's worth way more than what he's what he's asking for. So again, make sure y'all do go to badboymembership.com, join the bad boy membership, get this uh, documentary, and start the rest of your life, man. Because after watching this, if you don't have game after watching this. You ain't got no hope. <laughs> you heard that straight from RPC. With that being said, I'm God to these hoes. I'm out. Woo! Everyone that's successful had an uncomfortable situation.